Easy. Right. Right. I'm going to go off on a rant here. The, the photograph of the um, young boy in the hospital I'm going to talk about now. Now, do you know what? I should have gone into the fortune telling business because I reckon I'd have been pretty damn good at it. When this general election was called, I said to the people who knew me that you just watch before election day, there will be a scandal of some sort on the NHS. That's what I said to them. I said my prediction would be that it would probably be some mass outbreak of norovirus. And if one didn't occur, then they would make one. And now we are just a few days from the election and there hasn't been such a scandal on the NHS. So they have made one. We woke up to see photographs at what was supposedly a four-year-old boy lying on the floor of a hospital with pneumonia because there wasn't a bed. This is bullshit. This is a staged stunt. Let me explain. We all know that the majority of NHS workers and public sector workers in general are Labour supporters and left wing. I'm guessing that the parents of this young boy are Labour supporters. The young boy himself did not have pneumonia. He was in hospital on recommendations that the GP took him there because he had flu and tonsillitis. And he was photographed lying on a, uh, a sheet of coats on the floor with an oxygen mask on. Now, you don't need an oxygen mask for flu and tonsillitis, right? For pneumonia, probably. But how difficult is it just for... Parents and other people there just to lay a few coats on the floor, lay the young lad down on the floor, take a picture and then put it and, the, and it, it finds its way into the papers on the front page of no other than the Daily Mirror, which we all know as far left biased anti-Tory rag. I haven't seen it myself, but I'm guessing it's made its way onto the front pages of the likes of The Independent and The Guardian as well. And then when Matt Hancock, the health secretary, went there, it would appear now that paid protesters were aware that he was on his way there. They were hurriedly um, gathered in order to arrive there and shout abuse at him, and that they did. The abuse that they shouted him was a disgrace. These are people that have got nothing to do with this kid. They were paid protesters. All right? Now, this is it really enraged me, is this, because... The convenience of this picture, right when the election, well, the campaign, rather, up to the election, seemed to run in fairly smoothly. There hadn't been any major scandals. Of course, they had to bring one out. And I'm going to call up Marxist fucking Corbyn now, right, because he's been at a rally now and he's posed with a copy of the Daily Mirror like that. Look at this here. This is what the Tories are doing to your country. This has played right into the hands of Labour by Labour supporters, right? And for Corbyn himself, get off your eye horse. What about all the open door policies that you've said that you're going to implement, eh? We all know that the a lot of the trouble about the NHS is down to too much immigration. They don't want to discuss it. They all say, oh, no, 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 nothing to do with immigration. As soon as you mention that word immigration, everybody's brain just crashes. But we all know that it's down to immigration. Rapid population growth fueled by rapid, uncontrolled migration is what's caused the NHS to be overpopulated and struggling to meet targets. And I'd like to ask you, if you just happen to be a Labour supporter, what did Labour do for the NHS in 13 years that it had in power? I'll tell you what it did. It opened the doors to uncontrolled migration and it's left us in the shit that we're in right now. So, Corbyn, the next time you want to pull a stun like that, fuck off and go and talk to Hamas and Hezbollah, your friends. Because you are no friend of this country. This is an absolute disgrace. They could not have stooped any lower than to use a four-year-old child for political stunts. Make no mistake, this is a staged photograph. I'm not going to suggest it's fake because I dare say it's real, but it's very, very easy to stage. This is 
it's com it's just not believable. The the photograph itself just does not appear to be believable. It's got stays written all over it. So ignore the far left Daily Mirror and just have a research around online because I'm sure that already I've already seen something about it being a, a, a stage stunt and there are actually some staff that have broke ranks at that hospital, the Leeds Hospital and they've said that there is more to this story than is being reported so as days unfold we'll check it out but do not fall for this stunt this is a last ditch attempt by Labour to get your votes do not let them achieve this goal thank you for watching till next time and until next rant easy